Welcome back to the Long Dark. Now, if you remember last episode, our boy Hugo Bearman got uh, slightly ripped apart by a bear. Uh, so we are looking for medicine to heal him, which is in that dam, which is behind a locked gate. We apparently can't climb because we're a tiny baby man. I'm sure you could kind of, like, boost yourself up, wedge your feet in there. There's no barbed wire over the door bit. Hmm. Oh, well. I guess we do have a rather heavy pack on. I'm hoping the key's going to be in one of these trailers. Um, oh, well. Gives us time to explore a bit more. And as the weather outside gets colder in real life, it's important to explore games like this to, to pick up some sick tips to help you when the snow starts coming later this year, if it actually bloody does this year. So, uh, obviously, number one tip, the one you always need to remember, is to uh, throw roadside flares at any dogs you see, just in case they're wolves. I mean, you don't want to take that chance, guys. Do you want to be the guy who, when the snow came, got ripped apart by a wolf because you thought it was an innocent puppy dog? I know I don't. Oh, more coffee. This doesn't look like a, a key place. This doesn't look like the hip happening place where keys hang out. Then we got a bandage, an energy bar, and a first aid kit. Surely that's kind of backwards. I thought energy bars were bad for you. Yes, when you need that emergency calories. No, it doesn't look like this is a, a key spot. And my flare's going. After I lobbed it unsuccessfully at a wolf. Maybe I singed his bonds a little bit, but... He didn't improve of that. Yeah. See you later, alligator. Hey, this looks more like it. How much oil have I got? Yeah, fair amount. Get this lamp going up. Okay. There we go. Carter Hydro staring. St staring? <laughs> For staring at the dam. There we go. Get the pry bar in there. Ooh. Water bottle? That is a very weird water bottle. Is it me or is that just like weirdly long and thin? Oh, I guess it's a litre bottle. So instead of like thickening it out, they just stretched it. Okay then. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. Already got an abundance of boots. Let's drink that up. We're getting so much soda now. The lifeblood. Will's blood is like 90% soda now. He's turned his diabetes into power. Did I search you? Worn work gloves. I'll take them anyway. And you scrap you for cloth. Seems we're probably going to be spending the night in the dam. Forgot to check uh, how late it was, but I imagine the sun's on its way down. Yeah. I can actually get in there now. A bit worried about a wolf spawning in there, because the last two times I thought it was going to be in there, it wasn't. Um... It's kind of a the dick move that might be pulled. This place has seen better days. I don't know what you mean, Will. It's lovely around here. All these suspicious barrels. Oh, good thing not red. You don't want them exploding on us. Is there anyone in this weird tent that's still here? It seems kind of out of place. <laughs> I'm not sure why you'd camp here. Is that even a tent or is that just a bit of masonry? It's tent shaped. The tents usually have weird, like, chimneys sticking out of them. Oh no, it's a house. It's a house that's just been buried in snow. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I can't see anything useful laying in the debris. Probably I'll chop some of it for wood if you need it, but... We picked up some reclaimed wood back there, which is probably going to burn. There's pallets and shit, so... Into the dam. A place forgotten by God. The devil has taken over. By which I mean there's a wolf in there, possibly. And it's cold and scary and dark. Okay, let's find this medicine. Yeah. Also, maybe we don't want people to die. Will. You know, that's it's kind of callous. It's a bit early to get callous. I mean, you've been a couple of days in this hell. I think it's about like a year before you become callous, Will. Oh, woo. Dude, 
turn your lantern on. I had it on a second ago. I might be able to see what the fuck is going on if you do that. What the hell happened here, anyway? Magnets. That's what I gathered from the uh, early access. That sounds promising. Looks like this thing is an opening unless I can get the power working again. Maybe the trapper knows more about it. Yeah. I better find those first aid supplies and get back to him. Cool. That is literally what I was just doing. Okay, so we need to get the power on. I'm gonna be a one man damn machine. Alright, can I go back to looking through the oh that's down into the scary place. I wanted to return to the entrance so I can look through those uh, lockers. Before you jerk me away, you jerk, you jerk and jerk. Hope nobody needs this. Anymore. Nobody ever needed that. It's a shitty vest. The dam has changed a lot since I was last here. <laughs> Granola bar. Get that pry bar in there, nice and good, man. There we go. Hands empty. Okay then. Ooh, salty crackers. Ever say no to good sorty crackers? That's like 600. I'm guessing this is the... <gasps> oh shit, dude! You've never seen one of these in this game, ever. Oh, fuck yeah. I mean, it's grossly encumbered, but... Oh, you're gonna turn the light off. Yes! <laughs> Any walls wanna tangle with me now, motherfuckers? You get singed fucking everything. <laughs> uh, it's not quite a rifle, but goddamn. That'll come. Okay, stop giving me vests. Who the fuck is wearing vests out here? Ooh. Hey, buddy, you uh, are those are those vests yours? That those vests are yours, aren't they? Doesn't mean to talk shit on your vests. Ooh, admin office key. Double matches. I kind of like they're locking everything in the story mode. Kind of rewards exploration a bit more. I mean, maybe we would have to go back in there anyway, because the uh, trapper guy, Hugo Behrman, I don't care what his real name is, is, is Hugo Behrman. That's his name. He's probably going to send us in there, because that's probably where you're going to need to go to get the power on. But, meh. So, we got a workbench here. We can craft some shit. Uh, we can actually put together is a snare, um, which in much use seeing as we're constantly moving. <laughs> I think I can New jeans. It. Can't remember what kind of gear you got on, but I'm pretty sure it's better than jeans. Or maybe it's not better than jeans. As you know, it is just better than jeans. But oh, those cargo pants must be pretty warm if jeans are better. <laughs> okay. We need to find some better trousers, apparently. Okay, so we can't get into the control room yet. Well, there must be an office around there somewhere that needs this key. So let's plunge into the depths. Oh, I'm guessing that's uh, locked by the power then. Hello, sir. Mm. No, it's just locked in general. Well, it looks like things didn't go well for you. Could end up being useful. I can't get a good look at that face. Oh, kind of. Ooh, bad times. Water means shut off valve, keep clear at all times. Okay then. Let's stop wasting lantern fuel and get back to the sick guy who's possibly dying. <laughs> Does I actually find the meds? Okay. I can't remember. Flare. Then smell water bottle. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. All right. Okay. Yeah, we still haven't found the medical supplies. I'm too busy dicking around. <laughs> we take the lift. Yeah, that no, I can't run now. Nope, no power. I'm gonna have to dump some stuff in a safe spot around here. Just 
gets one of the draws, I guess. Car to Hydro Dam, safety and shutdown notice. I'm sure this will come as no surprise to you, but ever since seismic activity on the island has become such an issue, it's been almost impossible to run Carter Dam prof profitably. Besides that, the recent eco-activism, or let's call it what it is, terrorism, has introduced new risks that have brought plant and worker safety into question. Therefore, I'm sad to report that after years of trying to modernise Carter Dam, and after the failed attempts of its original creator, the eponymous Richard Carter, it's finally time for me to also admit defeat, as he did those decades ago. No ambition of mine justifies putting your lives in danger. All workers will be transported out as soon as we can guarantee your safety. In the meantime, please keep an eye out for any suspicious activity in or around the dam. The so-called forest talkers are still active in the area. Thank you for your dedication to the cause. Yours truly, Robert Clark, CEO Carter Hydro Energy. Oh no. The dam had to be shut down because of eco-terrorism. What heavy shit can we dump in there? Uh, can I organise by weight? Yes, I can. Oh, we got loads of wind. Oh, we got loads of water. <laughs> That's probably what's weighing us down. Parker. Uh, should probably cook that at some point. So many goddamn nose prints. Oh. Coal isn't really that heavy, but. Okay, it's enough for us to run, so I'll do it for the moat. Back to searching for these meds. Probably going to be on the upper or lower level. Well, we've got to be thorough about this. Go for the sodding filing cabinets. Probably not going to be any meds in the filing cabinet. We search under M for medicine. Maybe A for antiseptic. B for painkillers? Oh, just a newsprint. Is there a fire barrel around here? Would be useful right now. It's getting late. If not, we've got the uh, non cookable food. As as you can hear, my boy is a little hungry. Any meds in the trash? No. <laughs> Probably shouldn't feed our friend trash meds anyway. Probably shouldn't feed anyone trash meds, come to think of it. Okay, so step two, have many hats. There we go. That's the second two <laughs> tools for surviving. When the apocalypse comes, it's just to, to overburden yourself with hats. Become a hat man. 90% hats. Hasty scribbled note. The penmanship on this note suggests the author was in a hurry. I left it in a cave, head back out from the dam, follow the river, look for a cave near a clearing with a hunter's blind. Okay, I know there is a I know where there is a cave on this map. Maybe he's talking about Alan's cave? I better take this food. Yes, you'd better take this food. Ooh. Orange filing cabinets. These are the serious cabinets. Aha. <laughs> Requires station medical locker key. Is it in the locker right next to it? No. It's probably going to be in that office that we found the key to. In there. I'm going to put off looking for all these bloody drawers for a second and get this sodding thing done. There we go. Excuse me. Anyone here? I'm looking for a key. Maybe you're in the safe. Oh, almost blew it. So it's like about five. Come on. Let me hear that click. Oh, shit. About 540, I guess. Five forty one. Oh. Yes. Oh. Let's see if I'm right. I'm not. I thought the key was going to be locked away in the safe. So people can't get into your meds. Uh, thank you. Probably can't run again. And I'm also tired, so. 
Can we take this prize fish? Look at this fucker. Is that really a big enough fish to to show off, I guess? Maybe it's like your first fish or something, but... I seem bigger. I once caught a fish this big. I, I can't... I can't do the... I can't do the thing on, on voice. But just imagine my arms, like, grotesquely stretched out so they're covering the entire room. Ooh. Let's see if we've got a decent light shell doing anything for us. Okay, it's a very good windbreak, but... Not much else. Oh, we got a better wool sweater, so... We're a little warmer now. Uh, elevator maintenance note. Carter Hydro Dam maintenance ticket. The elevator is acting up again. We check the mechanicals and they seem fine. Must be something glitching in the electrical system. Keep an eye on it. It's really the only way to the turbine room. If we get stuck, it'll be a long walk before we can get back into the control room. We're, we're gonna have to. We're, we're gonna have to go have a long, long walk back to the control room. We can, yeah, yeah. Thanks for setting that one up. I can't wait for you to swing it home. I could use this. Don't want a book or papers. I want that, thank you. And is there any way, like, if we can light a fire in here? Do you have your own personal furnace? If you're the boss. Don't think so. Damn. Oh well, we can get this shit open. Thank you. Right. We've got our meds. Expired, but never <laughs> yeah, I just inject that shit into him anyway. We ain't got time to mess around. Can I fuel you up anymore? My out No, I got a little lantern fuel. Cool. Just flickering a bit. Let's go upstairs see if there's any way to light a fire up here. Uh, don't look like it. Did one of the huts have a stove? I don't think so. I mean, I got loads of water and everything, so maybe it is just a, an idea just to kip down here somewhere. I'm just gonna take this. See if I can scrap it and get the oil back from it. Actions. No, it just yields scrap metal. Fuck it then. Right, I guess we're making a. <laughs> Can I sleep on this? No. Making a makeshift meal, drink some water, and then sleep, I guess. What have we got for our delicious, tasty meal? Some salty crackers. Then let's drink from our two liters of water that's really weighing us down. <laughs> I wanted to cook that meat, but what can you do? Get some tasty, tasty sardines. Ugh. How do we sleep? See you in the morning. Trapper's probably dead. Well, this ain't great. What's wrong? Why are you thirsty? I have more water then. I have all the water in the world. There you go. But, but, it, let me, let me, you, please. It, come, come on, you always, it, come, come on, there we go. Back to bed with you. Okay, it's morning. Let's venture out. We've got our flare gun in case of trouble. We better check in on that old trapper. Minus 13, that's not so bad. We can swing by Alan's cave on the way home. Alan should have some good shit for me. There's a cache hidden there. Oh, look at this fucking flare gun. Yeah. It ain't a rifle, but, you know... <laughs> Freezing cold beggars can't be freezing cold choosers. And I think we will pick up Alan's cave next time as this storm is getting a bit violent. There's a wolf. 
So, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you next time. If you like my content, please do check out my other videos. If you do, I shall see you there. Goodbye.